In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And also with you. My brothers and sisters, it is our great pleasure, it is our privilege to be gathered together today as one as we celebrate this Eucharistic sacrifice. We welcome in a particular way those who are watching at home, those who through this television ministry are able to join the Catholic community worldwide as we mark this special day in which we remember the resurrection of our Lord and as we make ourselves again through his wonderful sacrifice, one with him and the Father and the Spirit. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind that we come before God as sinners in need of his saving help. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you, your Spirit made us your children, confident to call you Father. Increase your Spirit within us and bring us to our promised inheritance. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. Then the Lord said to him, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. the Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord, but the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, Lord let, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness, and grant us your salvation. 
the Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ. I do not lie. My conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in bearing me witness that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred according to the flesh. They are Israelites. There's the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. There's the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My soul waits for his word. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory be to you, Lord. After he had fed the people, Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once, Jesus spoke to them. Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught Peter and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. You know, Peter gets a lot of bad press for being impetuous. But you got to hand it to him. At least he tried, right? At least he tried. And even though his faith wasn't perfect, it was enough for him to at least make the first and maybe even the first few steps. And isn't that something that is so important for us? We need to remember that God is there. He's there and he's calling to us, come to me. All too often, we fail because we were afraid to even take the first step. 
Sometimes, of course, we even realize, or I should say, we even wonder if it is truly the Lord. And so, of course, in the Gospel, we see the disciples questioning this. And why would they question it? Why did they even think it was a ghost? Well, it helps to know a little history. Back in those days, they knew that the only thing that could walk on water was a ghost, or at least they thought they knew. And so, of course, Jesus had to let them know. No, it's no ghost. It is me. And he joins them. He joins them and he brings peace into their life. You notice how the waves and the wind were very strong. And as soon as he gets in the boat, all is calm. And isn't that, of course, what we ourselves experience not, I should say, when the Lord is with us, because he's always with us from the moment of our baptism, but rather when we finally recognize that he is with us and that calm comes into our heart, regardless of what the situation is in our lives. What is the situations in our lives? Of course, you might be home with a sick child or you're sitting here with your mind someplace else because there are worries or maybe it is the aches and the pains that are in your bones. Trust that God is there. He doesn't come with great trumpet blasts. At the end of time, the scriptures tell us he will. He comes to us most often in that silence of the breeze. He brings that silence because he who is the Prince of Peace desires to bring us peace. So let us trust in the Lord as Peter did. Make those first steps. And if somehow you manage to get distracted by all that's going on around you, if you manage to get distracted and afraid by what seems to be looming, cry out, Lord, save me. And he will. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come, amen. My brothers and sisters, God our Father wants all mankind to be saved and calls us to the knowledge of the truth. Let us pray to him with all our hearts. For the holy church of God, that the Lord guide it and protect it, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the peoples of the world, that the Lord unite them in peace and harmony, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our brothers and sisters in need, especially those yet unborn, that the Lord assist them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves and our diocesan community, that we offer an acceptable sacrifice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life, that those called will respond with generous hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church and grant us today what we ask of you in faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise of our Lord of his name, for our good and for the fall of his church. God of power, giver of the gifts we bring, accept the offering of your church and make it the sacrament of our salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. In you we live and move and have our being. Each day you show us a Father's love. Your Holy Spirit, dwelling within us, gives us on earth the hope of an ending joy. Your gift of the Spirit who raised Jesus from the dead is the foretaste and promise of the Paschal Feast of Heaven. With thankful praise, in company with the angels, we glorify the wonders of your power. of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict our Pope, William our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the
the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Let us pray. Lord, may the Eucharist you give us bring us to salvation and keep us faithful to the light of your truth. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Hi everybody, Bishop Callahan here. Just a word to say thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your continued generosity to helping us to, to provide these uh, celebrations of the Mass and bringing the Mass to your home each week. Your support and the supplied support from the Diocesan Annual Appeal makes these broadcasts possible. So know that you're in our thoughts and prayers always when we celebrate the Mass, but know that you're in our thoughts and prayers each and every day. God be with you. Thank you.